What's up, foodies? With it being the holiday season, I'm bringing you a festive treat that's perfect for spreading joy without all the alcohol. I give you my non-alcoholic eggnog recipe. This is a classic twist on a holiday favorite. Just a heads up, this video is sponsored by Community Natural Foods. I am doing a series of cooking videos with Community Natural Foods, which is a 45-year-old Alberta company that is dedicated to the cleanest, best tasting fresh products. Many of their products come from farm direct relationships and they're organic. Who doesn't love organic? And you can really taste the difference. Today, I'm making eggnog out of one of my favorite brands of eggs, Nature's Farms. Now I've been using these eggs for years in all my cooking, the taste, the color, the yolks, you just can't beat it. Nature's Farms have been working tirelessly to pioneer sustainable farming practices, ensure humane animal treatment and deliver quality food products. Let's start making our eggnog. So let's get into it. Start by separating five egg yolks from the whites. You won't need the egg whites for this recipe, so save them and cook them in the morning for breakfast. In a large mixing bowl, add a half a cup of sugar and beat the egg yolks until the mixture becomes thick, smooth, and light in color. Now place that bowl to the side and in a pot pour one cup of whole milk and half a cup of heavy cream. Place it onto the burner and heat until it's just steaming and make sure you don't let it simmer. If you happen to have a kitchen thermometer, you can use this to monitor the temperature more precisely. Aim for a temperature around 150 degrees Fahrenheit or just below simmering. When the milk is steaming, it's a visual cue and when small bubbles start to form around the edges of the liquid. Be careful, overheating the milk and cream can alter the texture and taste of the final product. So it is essential to keep an eye on it. Ladle the warm milk into the eggs and sugar mixture. Do this one ladle at a time while whisking continuously to prevent curdling. This is gonna help temper the eggs. After adding about three to four ladles, pour all of the mixture back into the pot and stir. Slowly heat it up to 165 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Heating the mixture of milk and egg yolks to a temperature between 165 and 170 degrees Fahrenheit serves as a crucial purpose in the recipe. This temperature range is within the pasteurization zone, ensuring the safety of the eggnog by eliminating all the harmful bacteria that may be in the eggs. In addition to ensuring safety, this heating process contributes to the overall texture and consistency of the eggnog, creating a smooth and creamy beverage. Now you can strain the eggnog through a sieve if you want to ensure a smoother and silkier texture, just in case you uh, overcook those eggs. Now, I've done this when working in restaurants to all my sauces, just to make sure they were all smooth and no lumps. Now it's time to flavor our eggnog. Stir in one tablespoon of vanilla extract or vanilla paste. I prefer vanilla paste a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and optionally, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and a pinch of salt just to enhance those flavors. These spices will give your eggnog that classic holiday flavor. Now let your eggnog cool to room temperature and place it into a serving container. Then refrigerate your eggnog for at least five hours before serving, ideally overnight. This is gonna allow the flavors to meld and come together. And when you're ready to enjoy your eggnog, pour it into a glass, top of the dollop of whipped cream, for an extra holiday touch, dust a little nutmeg on top before serving. And there you have it, my delicious eggnog that's perfect for sharing joy with family and friends. And if you enjoyed this recipe, give us a thumbs up, a subscribe down below. Happy holidays, and until next time, forgot it. Foodie out.